I can move through these difficult emotions with a lot of peace and I can still smile and I can still laugh and I can still cry and I can still grieve and it's all gonna be okay. Whether you saw it coming or not, the feeling is the same. You are devastated. You gasp as your vulnerability and wonder, why did this happen? Life has many hardships, heartbreak, illness, injury, death. Though we may share similar experiences, every hurt is personal. No matter how often well-meaning people say, we understand. They don't. You may even resent them for trying. How to support your healing process? Honor your pain. Avoidance of pain increases it. To heal, you must pass through the doorway of grief. Emotional wounds are beyond sadness. They are felt in the depths of your being. Honor your pain. Don't run from it. Unplug. Put time aside to reflect and permit yourself to grieve. If well-meaning people push you to get over it, ignore them. Time and patience are crucial to recovery. Surround yourself with friends who understand that. Reach out. Being alone is part of healing, but extended periods of isolation are unhealthy. Deep pain always brings out personal demons such as blaming yourself, embracing victimhood or bitterness. Such choices breed entrapment, not freedom. Reach out to friends, find sport groups or 12-step programs and seek comfort in prayer, meditation or philosophy, whatever brings you peace of mind. Instead of longing for a miracle, create one. Take a break. Engaging in healthy compartmentalization is essential. Everyone finds relief in different ways. Some find it creative activities such as writing, reading, music, art or movies. Others find it in movement such as dance, hiking, long walks. Choose a task that allows you to escape by stepping into another reality, even if only briefly. Do not fret, your pain will await you when you return, but you will be better fortified, rested and ready to face it. Learn from it. I have heard that the road to wisdom is paved with suffering, reflecting, exploring and pondering without self-attack or blame open you up to greater understanding and compassion for yourself and others. An attitude of learning will help you unearth value in the experience. You may also discover a curious new freedom. Move on. Some people allow suffering to define them, shape them and ultimately rob them of living. Many years ago, I was invited to a wedding between two widows in their 90s. Every person who attended was deeply moved, not by the service but by the couple's spirit to keep living. After you give yourself time to grieve and mourn and reach out to others for support and make space for your recovery, you have to decide. Will you allow emotional pain to hold you back or will you choose to use it to propel you in a new direction? Thank you so much.